Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create payment links inside Techmatics. Previously, you can collect payments uh, from Techmatics through bookings. Uh, you can also do it with like courses and memberships. You can do also do it with order forms. Uh, and you can also do it uh, with like uh, forms and products. But this is the easiest way on where you can create payment links. You can take payments for your services inside Techmatics. So it could be maybe um, a membership. It could also be uh, like physical product. It could be also maybe like uh, digital products that you want to sell. So the very first thing that you need to um, set up before we could um, create payment links is you need to make sure that you have the payment gateways set up in your account. So you need to go to payments and then settings. Uh, no, not this one. Go to integrations. Sorry for that. And then let's just wait for this one to load. So make sure make sure you have any payment gateways set up. So in my case, I already have Stripe connected. And I also have PayPal so people can also... And no, I don't have it in this uh, account. But also have PayPal so uh, people can also have the option to pay through PayPal. So yeah. And then after you've made sure that you have the payment integration set up for your payment gateways, what you need to do next is you need to make sure that you're going to create the products. So on the payment tab here on the left hand side of your screen, go to products and select products on the drop down. So this is where you're going to create the products. All the product that you have created from here will automatically sync with your Stripe products. So let me just create a product from scratch. Maybe I'll call this product, um, mm, what should we call it? Um, coaching, training with Nat. Maybe let's call it like that. Put your description into whatever description you want to have. Maybe I'll call it have a amazing experience with coaching and course creation. Sorry, I'm just doing random stuff for here. Course creation. And then on your media, you can definitely upload a file for your product thumbnail. Maybe I'll just choose one that's currently in here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just use our logo for now. So that's already added in there. Um, it's not necessary. Product collection is not necessary, so I'm skipping that. Uh, the next thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you have prices in. So you can have option to have a recurring, a recurring price for this one, but I'll just do um, maybe a one-time price for around maybe, let's say for example, 20 AUD. You also now have the option to switch into whatever currency for your products. And then after that, if this exact product have access to maybe a membership or a course, you need to go to additional option and make sure membership offer is turned on and you can definitely link it with any membership offer you got as of the moment. And that way, when a payment has been made through this payment link, automatically those clients will have automatic access to the membership offer you got as of the moment. So yeah, and since this is a digital products, I don't have to create like different variants. Variants are mostly used for physical products and stuff. So I'll just do this one and I'll just click on save. That's basically how easy you can do it. And after you have set uh, set the one up, I already have a coaching training with that as a product. So to verify, you can just go to payments and products. You can now see the coaching training is, uh, with that is now available. What you need to do next is you need to go to payment links. And this is basically how you're going to create the checkout. So click on create new payment link. And then under product, choose whatever product you want to link into this payment link. So this is, for example, I want to have this one, which I already, uh, I just created earlier, which we called uh, coaching training with Nat. You have the option to collect more information like a phone number or maybe customer address if you want. Uh, and you can also allow coupon codes so people can have discounts. So I'll just turn this, uh, that on. And for the CTA, we only have these three options, either pay, book or donate in my case i'll just use pay and then you can definitely put this in test mode if you want to test it first but in my case i'll just put this in live because this is pretty much ready here on top this is where we're going to name it please make sure to rename your payment link so you can keep track 
on which payment link you are creating. So I'll call it Coaching with Nat. And then you can just click on save. After that, you can just click on preview and you now have created your payment link. So that's basically how easy it is. If you want to customize your payment link, or I mean your branded domain here on your payment link, because by default, it might be show showing brand um, link the techmatics, uh, com. We have a different training on how you can set up your branded domain, so I might link it. Uh, I might link it to this video, um, and also the description, so you can also check that one out on how you go to customize your branded domain. So yeah, so this is basically the payment link that you can now maybe send to your client through email or maybe through like personal messaging and stuff like that. They could just pay from here, and you should um, and could definitely. Uh, and this is basically it. Um, another option that you can do with that is you can maybe link it with maybe funnel pages or like email buttons and stuff like that. So just copy this link right here, um, link it with any buttons you have in your website so people can have this direct link for their payments. So that's basically it. If you guys have any suggestions on the trainings we can do uh, with Techmatics, please let us know in the comment box. Thank you.